Mike Huckabee, former Arkansas governor, joins me now. Um, great to see you, governor. Could this be Ben and Jerry's, you know, Bud Light uh, moment? Could they be treated as uh, Bud Light was, Anheuser-Busch? Because they have a history of doing this, Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, this is not new for them, Ashley. They've yeah. always been uh, to the far left, even when there wasn't a far left. They kind of invented it, just <laughs> like they invented some of their crazy flavors. But they're not the only ice cream in town. People can make choices and go somewhere else. I think what's hypocritical is that they sold their company back in 2000 to Unilever for $326 million. Now, what I'd love for them to disclose, how much of that $326 million did they give away out of their liberal gift? guilt to indigenous people so that they mm. could uh, somehow feel better about themselves. My guess is not a lot. Their corporate giving is at about 7.5%, which is even less than a fundamental basic church tithe. Yeah. So they're not that generous, but they just are generous with their uh, claptrap coming out of their mouths about how much more they care than anybody else. <laughs> and it just doesn't wash. That, Frankly, I think their compassion is a little bit as frozen as their ice cream. <laughs> They're generous with other people's money is what they are. Are, are people yes. sick of woke <laughs> companies, uh, Governor? They are, Ashley, and it's mm. not because they really care one way or the other about their politics, but you, you really want to buy a product, not politics. So right. if I buy, whether it's a computer or ice cream or a loaf of bread or a car, I'm buying the product. I don't care about the politics of the company. I wish they'd just keep it to themselves. And I, I don't want to buy something because I say, oh, they, they agree with me on <laughs> political issues. And I don't want to have to get to the place where I say, I'm not going to buy from these people because they're yeah. idiots and they want to destroy the country. Yeah, it's so self-indulgent that they think that we care what they, uh, their <laughs> political views are. We don't. I want to get into this one, though. Uh, President Biden and some of his top officials are hitting the campaign trail today to tout his Biden Bidenomics agenda. But take a look at this. 60% uh, of people disapprove of Joe Biden's handling of the economy. And, and Governor, it seems like the American people just not buying this Biden, Biden I can't even say it now. I don't even like it, but I can't <laughs> say it. Bidenomics <laughs> plan. People just don't buy into it. Well, of course they don't, because they're feeling the pinch of it. Uh, this idea that they're going to go out and sell Bidenomics is nuts. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather go out and be asked to sell Camp Lejeune drinking water than I had to sell Bidenomics right now. I mean, what a disastrous thing to try to go out and tell people, hey, I don't care what you're feeling. I don't care how much more eggs and bread and gasoline and all of these things cost and how much lower your paycheck is. By golly, you ought to thank Joe Biden every day for Bidenomics. I mean, come on. Yeah. As, as Joe Biden would say, Ashley, <laughs> yeah. come on, man. Come on, God man. God save the queen. I, I got <laughs> 30 seconds. I just want to get your feedback on this whole thing with Joe Biden wanting to be having the South Carolina primary first. He's turning his back on the Iowa caucus and New Hampshire primary. He could end up with his name not on the New Hampshire ballot and lose probably to RFK Jr. I think it's nuts. What say you? I agree wholeheartedly. You mm. can't skip out the first few primaries. No. And if you think you can, ask Rudy Giuliani in 2008 how it mm. worked for him to skip everything and wait on everybody in Florida. By the time everyone got to Florida, it was over. Yeah, it's, it's, I've said it all morning. He's shooting himself in the foot and, uh, you know, go ahead is what all I say. All right, Mike Huckabee, <laughs> the uh, former Arkansas governor and just all around good guy. Thanks for joining us.